In today's video, we're going to talk about how you can change your channel keywords on the brand new YouTube studio. What is going on everybody? Noble here with you guys today. Uh, as you guys heard at the intro of this video, we're going to be showing you guys how to change your channel keywords. Now I actually got a message for this from a friend of the channel named Ron. If you guys want to check out his channel, it is tech tips and tech stuff. Now he's trying to start a gaming channel. He's actually trying to revive a gaming channel. He's had this gaming channel for a while. He's got around 2000 subscribers and he wants to make it work for him again. Now he just sent me a message over email and uh, he wanted to know uh, because of all the changes that are going on on YouTube, how do you change your channel keywords? So that's what we're going to be going over today. Uh, I'm gonna jump onto my channel so I can show you guys how to do this. But the first thing that you wanna do is obviously sign into your channel, click on your channel icon, and then head on over to the brand new YouTube studio. Now I do realize that they have changed quite a bit of stuff on here. So I may actually end up doing a lot more videos for all this brand new changes that they've made. But if you wanna change your channel keywords, what you wanna do is head on over to YouTube studio and then go down to settings here. Once you're here, you're gonna go ahead and click on channel and you've got your basic info here and this is where you're gonna find your keywords. Now I'm actually gonna change mine as well because to be perfectly honest with you guys, I've done okay on the YouTube side of things but there are plenty of things that need to be updated that I have just not done out of laziness, I guess. So I'm actually gonna close these out. Now I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of information for what these keywords do. Basically, keywords for your channel is a way for YouTube to index and know who they should be showing your channel to. So if you're making gaming videos or tech videos or makeup videos, you wanna have certain keywords for each one of those things in this keywords box. That's going to tell YouTube, hey, this is a gaming channel. We should go ahead and send these videos to people that watch gaming videos. Or hey, this is a makeup channel. Uh, people that are searching for makeup, people that are searching for tutorials on how to do makeup, we should send those videos there. Uh, a really good thing to do with this is not to put too many keywords in here. If you spam this with keywords, it's actually going to confuse the algorithm and they're not going to know who to send it. A really good place to set your keywords to is about 10 keywords that you want to go ahead and use. So first off, uh, if you guys ever want to find me, of course, you can find me most places at Noble Arcade. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that there and I'm going to put a few more in here really quick. All right, you guys, so I've just updated my personal keywords and this is what I've got. I've got Noble Arcade, that's the easiest way for you guys to find me, but I also make videos for video games, gaming, indie games, YouTube tutorials, tutorials in general, uh, some gaming guides, Twitch tips, and of course with the brand new console generation, I wanna be sure to get my videos out to people that play the Xbox Series X as well as the PlayStation 5 as I will be having those uh, pretty soon, as soon as they become available, and uh, we will definitely be playing and streaming those games. So again, you want to be sure that your keywords have to do specifically with the types of videos that you make, but you don't want to use too much, and you want to use keywords that are going to target people that you want your videos to go to. So that's the best way and easiest way that I can get this information out to you guys. Ron, I hope this actually helps you out, but if you guys wanted to change your keywords on your personal YouTube channel or possibly even enhance where your videos are going to whenever you do post videos to your YouTube channel. Hopefully this will help you guys out. If you guys have any more questions or want to know anything else about the back end of the brand new YouTube, all the changes that they've made, leave comments down in the comment section below and I will do my very best to go ahead and get those answered for you. As always, if you guys like this video or anything else that I do, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing, and I will see you guys on the next video.